Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit congested. I feel like my immune system kind of despises me just because I've been so go, go, go. And I didn't take a day off from after my travel day back from Mexico. And I have a story <laughs> time for that, but I'm kind of in a rush right now. I'm heading to a bridal shower about two hours away from me so I need to get on the road but later in the vlog I'm gonna explain or share a little story of how crazy traveling to and from Mexico was for me and it's so funny because Christian traveled to Mexico the weekend before and he had like the easiest travel experience but for me I just didn't so I have a little bit of a story time later but I think just the stress of that and getting home late and jumping right back into work kind of just knocked me off so I'm like recovering from being sick again I was sick the first week of the year and now I'm sick the first week of February it's just been a really busy year so far but I absolutely love it um, anyways, I'm heading to a bridal shower in Stewart, Florida. It's about two hours away for my friend Megan. Their wedding is the first week of March, so I'm so excited. We're getting so close. And then the girls' bachelorette party that I was just on in Tulum is the last week of March. So just like a, the next few weeks are very busy, and then I have a few weeks of a break in March and then another wedding. So I'm just so excited. Um... I'm so just excited and grateful to have these girls in my life and have these friends and yeah I'm so excited for them to take on this next adventure in their life as a couple and I'm just so excited to watch it and be there and yeah I just feel really lucky so I'm like recovering from a sickness um, we're gonna get through it I'm j I just sound like a little bit congested but Hopefully I can like kind of chill this weekend. I'm gonna pick up some juice stuff on my way home from Stewart because I'm driving there and then driving back after the bridal shower and then we'll make some juices tonight and then we'll make extra so I can have some tomorrow morning. And yeah, so, and it's Super Bowl weekend. I wanna edit my Tulum vlog and get that up. And um, yeah, I'm wearing this cute, let me unbuckle again, dress. I wore it for my birthday in June and I believe White Fox Boutique still has it. I'll put a picture of me wearing it on the screen for my birthday, but they've had it on their site, honestly, for a couple of years. And I literally, I love the dress. I love it. It has cute little ruffles everywhere and I'm excited to wear it again. So I'll link it down below. I think White Fox Boutique still has it on their site. Um, so I'll link it, but um, I'm gonna head to Starbucks and get some breakfast and a coffee for my drive i'm wearing this sweater by the way over top just to be comfortable for the drive there and back but i'm not gonna be wearing it for the bridal shower but anyways let's hit starbucks and then get on the road I had the best time yesterday celebrating Megan and I met 
all of her family and some friends and it was just such a great time i was there i got there around like 11 20 and then i started driving back home around like five something so it was just a really fun day i got home around like eight o'clock and um went straight to bed <laughs> i'm about to do some skincare i just opened up a box from merit beauty i've been using merit beauty makeup for almost three years and i can't believe it's been that long but i truly love all of their products so they sent me two products one is a skincare and one is something that i've used for almost three years it's their complexion stick this is like my fourth or fifth container of it looks like this so during the work week i wear like a tinted sunscreen or just regular sunscreen and then i'll use this as like a concealer but you can totally put this all over your face and use it as like a foundation stick but i use it mostly as concealer because during the work week i don't really care to have so much on my face so i use it mostly underneath my eyes and in my t-zone and i love it because i wear the most makeup on the weekends or going out i wear like a full face of foundation but during the week i like to opt for something that's not so full coverage to kind of give my skin and my face a little bit of a break so i highly recommend this i love this um, complexion stick i've bought it many many times and um i get it in the color dune but i'm really excited about this next product that i'm going to share with you guys because they just came out with a serum called great skin and it's an instant glow serum and i've been using osea for since august and i'm almost out this is like my last little bit of their hyaluronic acid serum so i needed to buy a new product and i'm so excited because this has niacinamide four types of hyaluronic acid caffeine rich cacao seed extract japanese gold thread root and it's ph balanced i did want to mention one of my favorite things about merit beauty is that they are clean ingredient skincare vegan and cruelty free and i love that i know so many of us are making the switch to clean beauty and i love that merit is fully clean beauty cruelty free vegan so they just check all of the boxes there so i want to try this for you guys on camera you're supposed to shake well because there is some like separation of the product so shake well massage two to three pumps onto skin before or after moisturizer in the morning or twice a day so you can use this twice a day so i'm really excited to use this i will keep you guys updated on how i like it but it came at like the perfect time because i needed to buy another hyaluronic acid so let's go ahead and i'm gonna dampen my skin because it's always best to have damp skin before applying a hyaluronic acid i also have a lovely little zit that i picked at because I, I never break out anymore, which I'm so grateful for because I did Accutane um, a couple years ago. I actually did Accutane because I had the worst skin in high school. And I think it was birth control that gave me like all the breakouts because I have been on birth control for... I know this is probably like a weird subject to talk about, but I've been on birth control for a very long time and I, it just that's just how my life has played out and I got on it in high school because my periods were really bad. I really think that birth control messed with my skin because before birth control, I had like perfectly fine skin, but I get it. I was like a senior in high school and I feel like that's when like hormones are starting. I got like a late period. I didn't get a period till... 15 and it was just like really heavy and just not great like I just it was just not great so I got put on birth control and I started to develop the worst acne like all right here here and here the more that I got into skincare it kind of kind of got better I was on like topical treatments I was on doxycycline I was getting facials every month to try and help with them and um, I just feel like it never really went away so I um, went on Accutane and it was the best decision I made. I know it kind of can go both ways and people are kind of iffy about it. It is a very intense supplement or drug to be on. And um, I personally didn't have like terrible side effects. I would, 
if you're thinking about going on Accutane, definitely talk to your doctor. I mean, you do meet with your doctor every month throughout the whole process and they kind of like evaluate like how you're feeling, how you're doing, like what your side effects are. So it's very regulated by your doctor, by the government. Like you have to take a quiz within a certain amount of time. You have to get your blood drawn every month, which was terrible. I hated it, but I just like would talk to myself positively and say like, look, this is what you gotta do to try and see if this works for you and you get clear skin and it did it did work for me so i'm really grateful for accutane and i get like little sit here and there every once in a while so it's nothing compared to what i used to get before but also um i didn't have some of like the terrible horrible acne that some people suffer from so for that i'm grateful but it was still like pretty bad and acne is such a it like messes with your confidence so i like feel for people that go through that but um yeah i did accutane and it was probably one of the best decisions that i've made i just feel so good in my skin so um anyways that's my little spiel but yeah all that just that huge story because i have like a little zip right here but i'm gonna wet my face two to three pumps Right, so two to three pumps i don't think there's much of a scent which is nice because i know that some skincare can have like a terrible scent but you love the skincare but you can't get past the scent so yeah i really don't think there's a scent on this first impression i feel like my skin looks dewy and glowy i'm gonna finish doing out the rest of my skincare and then we'll see how makeup lays over top of this but i'm really excited to have this in my machine and use it so i will keep you guys updated on how i like it over the course of the next few weeks i don't really like to speak about things and recommend things until like i've consistently been using them because i don't know you could like it for a few days and then it could totally just not work for you so i will definitely keep you guys updated on how i like the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum by Merit. I'm really excited to continue using it. So, just wanted to share because it's such an exciting box to open. I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare and then kind of chill out on the couch for the rest of the morning just to kind of chill because we're going to a Super Bowl get together tonight because it's Super Bowl Sunday. And then I'm gonna work with my life. I gotta meal prep, I gotta do all the things. So, I'm just gonna kind of take it easy this morning. Okay, I'm in the car. I'm about to head to Publix. I'm gonna get some stuff for groceries for the week. I'm meal prepping pasta salad for lunches this week. We haven't tried this before, so I'm excited to have something new. We're kind of in like a little bit of a meal prep rut. I feel like we're just kind of sick of everything we've ever had for lunch meal prep. So I was trying to figure out something different that we have never had before. So we're gonna do pasta salad and I feel like it'll be easy to prep, make, and then have, and it's cold so we don't have to like reheat it or anything. And I feel like it'll be really yummy. I'm gonna get stuff for that. I'll put the recipe for the pasta salad down below just in case you guys are in the same boat and you have no idea what to cook for meal prep, what to prep for yourselves so you're prepared. It always makes me feel so good having lunches prepped for the work week because it really takes a lot of stress off my shoulders when it comes to like coming up with certain foods. You kind of just like prep a bunch of meals and you can obviously like switch them up however you like and i know sometimes it can be hard to eat the same thing consistently for like four days for lunches so what you could do is you could like separate it and do like the same thing for three days and then prep for like the other two days of the week or just however you want to do it but um even if it's just two days out of a time i know it helps just have like two lunches prepped for yourself at least um, it really does take a lot of pressure off your shoulders and it's just like easy you don't have to think about it yeah i just will never go back to not having lunches meal prepped it just it saves money it gives you something to eat. you don't have to think about it it's just easy and it creates flow and routine and just easiness in my life so i highly recommend if there's a way that you can incorporate some type of meal prep even if it's just like only prepping for like two days and i don't meal prep dinners um, but I also am the type of person that can eat the same thing for a few days in a row and then like be fine and like take a break and then switch it up the next week. So um, if you're the same as me, 
just I meal prep for four days. I either don't prep for Monday or Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, I don't prep anything either. I kind of just go with the flow on those days. But yeah, so we're trying something new for meal prep and just getting like other stuff for the week for dinners. Christian goes out of town on Thursday for another bachelor trip. I'm telling you guys this year or the beginning of this year is so busy for us just with weddings, bachelor trips. I went on a bachelorette trip. It's just busy. So um, I'm also going to be filming a, I really hope that I'm like energized for this next week, but I'm going to be filming a work week in my life because I haven't done it since I started my job. So I'm going to be filming one of those and um, bring you along. It's going to be Valentine's Day. I'm doing something fun with my friends for Valentine's Day. And then Christian has something planned that I don't know about. And then, um, yeah, he leaves Thursday and then I'll be like by myself. I'm taken to the airport like really early Thursday morning. And then Thursday, Friday, I'll be by myself. And then I'm like debating on taking off the weekend from like vlogging. I haven't taken off a weekend from vlogging in over a year. I have vlogged every single weekend. And I think I kind of owe it to myself to take some time off. But I really do enjoy vlogging and YouTube, but I just like working through the week and then like I vlog on the weekends. I just like never really shut off for a full weekend. So I'm like debating on if I want to take the weekend off or not. But um, we'll see how I feel next weekend. But yeah, so I'm gonna head to the grocery store and then I'm gonna come back, unload, and then Christian and I are gonna go to Trader Joe's and get a few things. We're not gonna do like a huge Trader Joe's restock. I just don't feel the need to do so right now. And, but we're gonna pick up like a few things and then we're gonna pick up some Krispy Kreme donuts to take to the Super Bowl party tonight. And yeah, and then we're gonna head there around five to our friend's house. But yeah, that's what's going on. Just got home from the grocery store. I put away the rest of the groceries besides the pasta salad ingredients that I'm gonna be meal prepping for our lunches for the week. I also picked up a Celsius on the way out because I need the energy because we're going to a Super Bowl party later today and I don't really drink these anymore. I didn't want coffee, but I needed some energy, so I picked up a Celsius. But these are the ingredients for the pasta salad. So I got protein, pasta, salami, olives, mozzarella, diced red onion, cucumber, tomatoes, a red pepper, parsley, and then these are the ingredients for the dressing. Oregano, thyme, lemon, it's olive oil, but I'm gonna do avocado oil, because that's what I have. Maple syrup, Dijon mustard, did I say a lemon? A lemon, and pepper. And this is gonna be so easy to throw together, and then I'm gonna put it in our meal prep containers and throw it in the fridge, and it's just an easy, satisfying, probably super filling lunch meal prep. Just finished prepping it all. Got a decent amount by doubling the recipe and we still have some left over. So we're gonna bring the rest of this to the Super Bowl party we're going to, just to have as a side with the burgers and whatever else we have. But Christian's only gonna be here for three days this week since he's going on a bachelor trip. So it got him three cups of the pasta salad for three meals and then it got me two cups. So it's really good, the dressing on it is really good, so I'm really excited.
Okay, we just got home. It's after 11, so I need to shower and go to bed. But I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be filming a work week of my life starting tomorrow. I'm crossing my fingers that I don't wake up exhausted. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow for my work week of my life. Bye.